today in our worship, but uh, I want to continue to move in this series of messages, uh, Moving with God, Part 3. Amen? Amen. Amen. Moving with God, Part 3. Those of you that uh, have been here and following um, the messages will remember uh, that God was moving Israel uh, night and day as he gave command uh, with the pillar of fire uh, by night and cloud by day. And of course, he uh, brought them to a point uh, on last week, if you remember, to a point of a dead end. Amen? Amen. Uh, they were confronted with uh, the Red Sea. Amen. Of course, as a result of that, uh, God had a purpose in bringing them to that point uh, in their lives so that he could strengthen their faith and also show a manifestation uh, once again of his power. Amen? Amen. And then uh, as they made their way through the Red Sea uh, and they were on the other side, they celebrated uh, for what God had done for them. Amen? Amen. Uh, they begin to sing a song and shout glory, hallelujah. Amen. Uh, amen. For the goodness of the Lord. Amen. amen. And uh, again, I'm glad that they didn't, did not forget to celebrate who had brought them over. Amen. amen. And so today as we, we journey on, uh, Moses is off the scene. And here is young Joshua giving leadership, uh, who was a faithful servant of Moses, who walked with Moses uh, for a number of years, was with the group that went to spy out the promised land, came back with a positive report, uh, amen, he and Caleb, amen. amen. Uh, so this was not new territory uh, for uh, Joshua. However, all of the old crew that was with Moses and all of that because of their disobedience, uh, God had to bring them to a point where they no longer exist. Amen. They never uh, were able to witness the promised land. Are y'all right. still in it with me? Just trying to give us a real quick backdrop and because I'm going to be quick with the message. Uh, and so now, here is uh, Joshua. Uh, continuing the journey. Uh -huh. They are continuing to move uh, with God. Amen? Amen. Amen. And so here, uh, once again, they are faced with the Jordan River yeah. uh, as God has brought them to another place of crossing. Uh, and of course, they had already witnessed the miracle of God uh, as he brought them through the Red Sea. And of course, if he did it before, he'll do it again. And so now, uh, Joshua has the task of leading them through the Jordan uh, into the promised land. How many people know that where your blessings are, there's always going to be some issues uh, while you're on your way there? And so as they were journeying in, uh, the very first place that they meet up with uh, in the book of Joshua uh, is Gilgal. Yeah. Most of us are familiar with uh, Jericho, but the very first problem, uh, issue that they had was Gilgal. Amen? Amen. God has a way of getting us to where we need to be. Amen? Amen. But I want to give us a quick backdrop as we continue to move with God because uh, the book of Joshua symbolizes uh, the end of, and I say it symbolizes the end of the dispensation of the law. Amen? Amen. Amen. And of course, uh, as we uh, look at this, Joshua is a type of Christ. Right. I don't want us to miss that then, because he, he followed Moses. And so Grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And so here, they are opening a new chapter in their lives. Yeah. God has to bring us to that point, amen, where we have to 
open a new chapter in our life. And I love this book of Joshua because just because God had promised them the victory in the land of Canaan, he had promised them, uh, again, told them that they can go in and possess the land. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did not mean that they were exempt from having problems. Oh, Did not mean that they were immune to having issues. Yes, Have I got somebody in here? Yeah. I don't want us to have a, a, the false notion just, just because we are children of God that the devil won't get on our trail. Yeah. Matter of fact, the day that you got saved, you got his lunch of war on you. Never got anybody. He wasn't bothering you while you were doing your other stuff. But as soon as you say yes to the will, yes to your way, oh man, he set up, he set up camp on you. Never got anybody in here? Yeah. Just the and so here, uh, Canaan is a picture of a life of victory. Tell somebody it's a picture of a life of victory. Yeah, they didn't appreciate it. Tell the other name. Tell them that. Canaan is a picture of a life of victory. We were going into Canaan land. And you, the truth of the matter is, it's available for every believer. Yeah. It, it, it's not just for a select group of people who can go into a victorious life. Yeah. But it is whosoever is in Christ, yeah. then you have access to have a victorious life. Don't let anybody tell you anything different. Amen. Yeah. It is not the name of the church. It's not, amen, who your pastor is. It's not how, how long you've been saved. But the truth of the matter is, is when you're in Christ Jesus, then he opens the door and you've got access to the victory in him. Hallelujah. Don't, don't want to miss that. Amen, somebody. And so to, to, today, amen, I want to encourage somebody, amen, as we walk through the land of victory, amen, to make sure that you stake your claim as God has told us to do, amen? Amen. amen. So these two passages will help us to understand what it takes to go from wandering in the wilderness to having victory in our lives. Have we got somebody in here? Amen. Israel, Israel in this chapter, it must be applied to our lives spiritually. Amen? Amen. Yeah, we ought to, if we're going to walk in victory, uh, then it's going to require some things of you and I. Amen. 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 And so the first thing that God does, and I'm going to be quick, amen, uh, is he commands or he commissions Joshua because he said the land had already been given to Israel. Amen. And so now he authorizes them to go in and possess the land. Amen. You have permission. So he commands them, amen, to go in and claim your promise. Yeah. Look somebody and tell them, amen, this, this, this is this time right now to claim your promise. Amen. Yeah, God has given that to every succeeding generation of Israel. Amen. amen. And, and the truth of the matter is, and this might pinch a little bit, but many believers, many Christians are living in defeat or living defeatist lives because you're still wandering around. You're saved, but you're wandering around. You're saved, but you're not claiming the victory in Christ Jesus. Come on, somebody. You, you, you love God, but you're missing uh, all of the things that God has for you. Are y'all still in here? Amen, somebody. And I heard Paul say, thanks be to God, which causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. And so if you are in him, you are again desire to live the victorious life. Some of y'all, some of y'all miss that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's why Paul says, in all of these things, we are more than conquerors. Amen. Through Christ 
Jesus or by Christ Jesus. Amen. He did not save us to be defeated. He did not save us to walk around and say, well, I don't know. I hope our God does so. No, you should be walking around saying, you know what? I already have the victory and I'm standing on the promises of God. It makes me tired to hear believers Amen. Walk around defeated and walk around uh, insecure and walking around feeling inadequate. When you know Jesus, that ought to give you a holy boldness. That ought to help you say, you know what? I refuse to walk any other way than in the victory of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. And so that, 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 that's, that's very important because God says in the text, amen, as he commands Israel, and this is for us as well, he says, everywhere, look at verse, verse, look at verse 3. He said, every place, get your Bibles open, amen, quick, quick, quick Bible study, amen. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, I've already we're not somebody. Tell them they can't get excited about. Tell them, about, tell, them about, tell them that means you and I too. Amen. I've already given it unto you as I said unto Moses. Hallelujah. But here's the key. Here's the, here's the principle here. You got to go get it. You got to go where it is. He said every place where the soul of your foot shall tread upon. You can't be lazy. You cannot be passive. You can't sit around and wait on somebody to give you something. You got to tread it out. Tell somebody. You got to tread it out. Amen, somebody. Everywhere they went physically, God said, claim it. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah, and, and so, so, so I, my question to you today is, how big are your feet? Yeah, it's all right if you got big feet. That means you can cover more ground. Hallelujah. Because some of us got some planks, man. Amen, somebody. Yeah, 14, 15, 16. We can cover a lot of ground. You can stake your crank claim better than them size fives and them fours. Come on, somebody. Yo, don't, be, don't be pushing your feet up under the seat because, hey, amen, you already know you got big feet. And the Lord said, wherever you walk at, See them big feet come in and now don't they? Amen, somebody. You got to claim your territory. I got some help in here. And so, 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 if you don't go there, then it doesn't, you don't have the victory. You can't have the victory unless you walk it out. Somebody still didn't get that right there. You, 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 you got to walk it out. Tell somebody you got to walk it out. Yeah, and, and, and Joshua had already walked it out back in Numbers chapter 13, and they came back. They brought these gigantic grapes and pomegranates and, and all of these wonderful things back. Amen. But the problem is, is that the negative folk won out over the positive folk. They got out numbers. They got, they got beat up because of the, uh, being uh, working in a de democratic way instead of a theocratic way. Theocratic means that I believe in what God says. Democratic says that, you know, the majority win. And so you got to learn if you're walking it out with God, then you got to follow his charm. So, 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 when where you don't go, then uh, you don't persist until you walk it out to get the victory. Yeah. You got you to believe. You got to have faith in God. Amen. And too many times we, we live defeated because we uh, uh, think that, you know, that's for somebody else. All right. Come on, somebody. Lord. They think that's for a certain group of folks. They think that's for a certain denomination. Denomination has nothing to do with victory. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. And it doesn't matter where your church is as long as you are in Christ Jesus. 
Amen. When I was looking at this and I thought about it, amen, I, I thought about that Mary Mary song. Uh -huh, go get it. She, she right with me right now. Yeah, and, and it goes a little something like this. It's like looking through a telescope. You see where you're going to be. Uh huh. Grown, getting better, and you're not the person they see. Can't be mad at things you've been through because they built your muscles. Now you're stronger than you've ever been. I like this part. This part y'all know. Here's the part y'all know. Go get it. Go get it. Go get your blessing. Go get it. Go get it. Go get your blessing. And she said, it's time. Look somebody and tell them it's time. Get them on the other side and tell them it's time that you go get your blessing. Because too many people are passive when it comes down to following the command of God. Amen, somebody. I got to hurry on. Amen, somebody. But we got to learn that if we are going to have the conquest, then we got to follow after what God says. God wants us to claim our blessings personally. You know, somebody tell them that means I got to do my own thing. You can't walk it out for me. I got to walk it out for myself. Come on, somebody. Spiritually, if we want to grow, then we got to, amen, we got to press on to a fulfilled life, and we got to do that by going to get something. If I want to grow spiritually, then that means Bible studying. That means Sunday school. That, that means get paying my time. That means, amen, walking out in, in prayer and meditation. If I want to go get it, if I want to, amen, walk in victory, that means I got to do some spiritual stuff. Y'all kind of got to look like. As long as I was talking about the material stuff, y'all was helping me. Amen, somebody. But whatever we need, you got to go get it. Ambitious, nobody gonna give you no promotion. That's right. You gotta go get it. Yeah. Hey Amen. That new home, that new car, you got to go get it. You never know what God is gonna do, but you gotta walk it out. That increase, you gotta go get it. That healing, you got to go get it. Come on. Hallelujah, somebody. If you want to prosper, then you got to walk it out. Amen, somebody. Nurse somebody and tell them, I dare you to walk it out. Yeah, in your victory. Amen. So because we were born as overcomers. Amen, somebody. Everybody that's born in Christ is an overcomer. Yeah, you, you, you're not a, amen, you're not inadequate. Amen, because you know Jesus who is and who has all power. Uh -huh, in his name. Hallelujah. Amen, somebody. But here's the problem. Here's the problem. Amen. So he commands them, but watch this. And, and I told you, I, I, I told you that, that where your blessings are, the enemy is going to be right there. So after he commands, they, they, they run into conflict. That's point number two. Amen, somebody. Point number two. Conflict. Somebody say conflict. Yeah, there's always going to be an assault on you when you really start walking by faith and not by sight. Uh, have I got anybody in here? Obstacles will get in your way. Are y'all still in there with me? Yeah, and if we look at obstacles negatively, we'll get discouraged. Amen, somebody. And you may give up. You may decide that, you know what? I ain't doing all this. I ain't fighting. I'm not going to follow Jesus. I'm not going to do all of this here. But when God, amen, walks with you, you can take these obstacles as challenges and overcome them in the strength of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, the joy of the Lord yes. is my strength. Yes. So I can't get sad. That's the time that I got to continue.
continually to have joy yeah. because that's going to strengthen me. Are y'all feeling yeah. that? Yeah. So the obstacles help us to uh, become stepping stones yeah. in your life. Yeah. I'm trying to hurry on. Amen, somebody. They are opportunities yeah. so that you can see, so that you can grow in the faith. Everybody in here has had some. Yeah. Everybody in here is going to have some more. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. And, and, and so, so, so we got obstacles in our way, but God says, go get it. Go get it. And I'm saying it's mine. Yeah. And I don't care about the obstacles. Yeah. If God be for me, yeah. who can be against me? Yeah. I want the Lord. Somebody, my salvation. Who? Oh, I got the back of it. Shall I fear it? Who shall I be? I tell somebody, you better go get it. Don't, don't be backing all up, scared and all that stuff. Because God said it's all right. Hallelujah, somebody. He's already given you the authority. So walk through the land. Are y'all still in here with me? Uh, don't allow discouragement. All oh, these obstacles are a training ground. They get us ready. Come on, somebody. All of that discouragement and disillusionment that we make, he's just calling us into a place of appointment so that you can walk it out in the land. But you got to be willing to walk by faith. So not only are there obstacles, but there are also there's also opposition, y'all. Yeah. You got some folk who are supposed to be believing the same thing you are. Yeah, yeah but they're the first one that will start opposing yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah. Folk that sit on a pew with you, yeah. and you start, that's why sometimes you got to hold your, amen, yeah. hold your dreams close to you. Yeah. And come on, somebody, because uh, Joseph had some opposers even in his own family. Come on, somebody. As soon as they found out that God was going to elevate him, that God was going to give him victory, he had some head of brothers. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. And then so when you, when you begin to walk with God, conflict is going to be there. And you're going to have opposition. Yeah. Never got somebody in here. Yeah, start reading your Bible and start following God and start going to Bible study and, and, and start saying, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Opposition is going to rise up against you. And we got to know how to defend ourselves because somebody said, girl, I ain't going to be doing all that, all that praying and all that studying. Man, you got to be out of your mind when you got to be so holy. Yeah, but, but, but tell somebody, now is the time to be holy because God has commanded you to possess the land to go have your victory. Come on, somebody. We've got too many Christians that are weak and powerless. No word to fight off the devil. That's why I keep really reiterating Sunday school, yeah. Bible study, yeah. training sessions. Come on, somebody. Yeah. yeah, and then because when you find out that man shall not live by bread alone. So y'all miss your sound right there. But every word that proceeds out of the mouth, when the devil start combining you, yeah, you, you have a word for it. And you'll be able to tell them that I'm more Come on, somebody. I got to get out of here. But you'll be able to warn him off. But if you don't have no word, then you don't have nothing to fight with. Hallelujah. I love to shout. I love to praise him. I love to dance. I like to run. 
But boy, I tell somebody you need a word. Yeah. Get them on the other side and tell them you need a word. Yeah, yeah because the enemy don't like it when you got a word. Every time he tried Jesus, Jesus had a word. So you don't have opposition. Whenever you begin to do what God yeah. has commanded you, you're going to have conflict. Come on, somebody. But you got to remember, you, you, you got to tell the enemy when he starts opposing you, you know what? I can do all that through Christ who strengthens, strengthens me. Have I got somebody in here? But we got to remember, amen, that we will have opposition. We will have conflict. Conflict against us. Conflict that comes from the world. Conflict that comes from the flesh. That's why Paul says, I die daily. Why do you have to die daily? Because some days when I would do good, evil is always present. Some days when I think about how wretched I am, I realize that within me, there is no good thing. See, some of us were going to lie to ourselves. Then, amen, just confess to ourselves and say, you know what? Thank God for his grace because you want to rotten hammer not to come on somebody. But if they come, y'all, they're going to shout your wish. You shout right there. But, but you'll be able to say, you know what? But that's why I die daily so that God can give me brand new grace every morning. Come on, somebody. Fresh grace. Fresh favor on a daily basis. Somebody puts up on Facebook or Instagram that you don't like, sometimes the handle fly off and you forget that you're a child of the king. You forget, amen, that uh, you are supposed to walk boldly in the word of God. Instead of that, you start answering the devil. Sometimes you just got to be quiet and don't say nothing to that demon. But let them talk on them. They can type in what y'all quiet on me. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't have to respond to every crazy thing that somebody says about you. You know, Amen. Somebody that that takes away time from you that you could be enriching yourself in the Word of God. Got no time for your nonsense. Got no time to reply to your foolishness. Got no time, Amen, to go along or uh, reply to all of the crazy, 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 crazy stuff that you got going on. Amen. 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 Somebody, you know we've been commanded to claim yes, the victory. Yeah. That's why he tells us to love not the world because the world don't love you. Amen. Yeah, they, they, they don't care nothing about you. And so the question is, how big are your feet? All right. If I got any, amen, spiritual walkers in here, amen, that don't mind walking to that, amen, somebody. Yeah, tell somebody this thing is bigger than any denomination. Yeah, who claim that they have the amen, they got all of the answers. Have I got somebody in here? No, they don't. The Bible has all of the answers. The amen, somebody. So we got to learn how to replace our fears, our anxiety. Amen. Our anxieties and our inadequacies. Amen. With the power of God. Are y'all still with me in here? Amen. I'm in my seat in just one more, one more, amen, one more point here. Amen. Thirdly, hallelujah, give me, give me five more minutes. Amen. 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 So you got, uh, again, your command. Amen. But then after the command comes conflict. Yeah. So it's no easy, no smooth sailing. Yeah. But you know you already have 
the victory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then thirdly, God calls us to courage. Yes. Tell somebody you got the courage up. Courage Get up. on the other side. Amen. You got to courage up. Courage up. Verse 6 and 7, he says, be strong. Yeah. Got too many weak believers. Yeah. He said, we got to talk about it more. Amen. Yeah. We got to talk about the power of God more. Yeah. He said, be strong yeah. and of good yeah. courage. Yeah. yeah, some of us let anything, everything discourage us. Yeah. For, amen, unto this people shall thy divide, God still pressing, an inheritance uh, the land which I have given to your father. But he, he does a double pump here. He said, only be thou strong and courageous. Have I got somebody in here? Later on, he said, don't turn from the left. I'm going to see y'all. Or to the right. I, I, I like that somebody. But all you got to do is obey the word of God. And yeah, it, it may be new territory for somebody today. And it may cause some unease in your churchiness. But I stopped by to challenge you to move you out of your comfort zone. See, as long as you can just come and be comfortable on Sunday morning and don't have, yeah, no challenges. You can love the Lord with all of your heart. Yeah, and all of your soul and all of your mind. But when conflict comes in your life, yeah, you got to be ready to be courageous. Is there anybody in here who understands what I'm saying? Anybody here ever heard somebody say, well, we've always done it this way. But I need to tell you when God says it's time to move, then you got to be obedient to the word of God. That means that sometimes God will require you to drop some of your familiar traditions. That means that God will sometimes require you yeah, to do some things that you've never done before. Come on, high five somebody. But I heard the Lord say you need to courage up. Look at your neighbor on the left side and tell them you got the courage up. When they talk about you, courage up. When they lie on you, courage up. When they think you lost your mind, courage up and be able to tell them, yeah, I'm living my best life right now. I'm so glad that I found out that God has not given me the spirit of fear, the love and And tell them you gotta be determined to walk it out. Look somebody and ask them one more time how big are your feet? And if there are any spiritual walkers in here who don't mind walking it out in the name of Jesus. Ain't God alright? That you can trust God because I heard him say back in Exodus, hallelujah, that my presence shall go with you wherever you go. Thank God, all right. I know he's on my presence. He's everywhere at the same time. He's talking about another presence. God said, I'm going to 
manifest myself to you. When you start walking and out, you can stick your claims. And all right, tell somebody it's time to move. Tell somebody you got to go get the old next thing. Tell somebody that your victory is waiting on you. Come on, stand to your feet. I'm going to leave you in my own name. 